All right, people, let me continue. Bible verses, they popped up, cut me off. It's all good. But as he was saying, here's the patience in Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Did you hear that? Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Jesus said, not one jot of one tittle. You understand? Who keep the commandments of God. Ten. The commandments of God. And the faith of Jesus. Did you hear that? Keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. It makes sense. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, safe the spirit, and that they rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another crying, another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in the sickle, and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. Pray that you enter the harvest. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in the sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in the sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. Jesus talks about this in his words. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden without the city and blood came of the winepress even unto the horse brittles by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. And I saw another sign in heaven Great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. Spiritual and physical. Spiritual and physical. I talked about this yesterday. Spiritual and physical. Now pay attention. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark. And over the number of his name. So he's giving you three now. A victory over the beast. Over his image. Over his mark. And over the number of his name. Stand. On the sea of glass. Having the harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses. The servant of God. If you go back. After. Uh, I think I remember what book it is. Moses sung a song. In front of the children of Israel. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of, of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints, who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name. For thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. And the seven angels came out of the temple, having the seven plagues clothed in pure and white linen, and having their breasts girded with golden girdles. A lot of these things are happening in the spiritual realm. All those who worship God must worship Him in spirit and truth. You got to believe the spiritual things they're being talking about. He said the tabernacle of heaven was open, and these angels were released. We probably can't see this, but He's telling you how is it going to go down. And one of the four angels, four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials full of the wrath of God who liveth forever and ever. And the temple was filled with the smoke from the glory of God and from his power. And no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. There's things going on in the spiritual realm all the time. 